and uh, another letter came to us uh, from Mike Starr. Mike Starr says, uh, thank you for the email. I was not aware that Neil had passed away. It had been some time since I saw him last. I first met Neil at Eastman School of uh, uh, Music Summer Recording Workshops in 74, 75, uh, that I attended to get a grounding in recording engineering. He was an incredible teacher at the workshops, and I had the privilege of working uh, for him after he moved to Toronto uh, to begin working with Jack Richardson and uh, to develop uh, numerous technical design innovations at Nimbus 9 Recording Studios on Hazelton in Toronto. At the time, Nimbus was uh, undergoing major renovations uh, to its recording studio and control room and was implementing a unique direct-to-disc process, something, of course, Neil was very interested in, uh, with the associated challenges and low-noise electrical and acoustical environments. Neil had a great curiosity about how just about anything worked and uh, combined with the uh, desire to share what he had knew and the intense and the sense of humor made an engaging time for a number of us keen to learn the field. I left and went back to school entering uh, a different field, but it was acoustics and uh, the audio equipment design problems that uh, Neil was always addressing that initially piqued my interest in what has become a lifelong learning process uh, did get a chance to catch up. It was over time, it was over a great meal and the passage of time that uh, had done little to dampen his curiosity about engineering and many of the other subjects including the challenge of growing tomatoes. <laughs> Various of you know that story. I'm saddened to learn of his passing. He was a unique force as a teacher and an engineer.